being a little taller. How much of an advantage is that, Gabriel? Uh, well, in the heavyweight division, it's, it's also good when you have when you you're able to have an advantage on the distance. <laughs> Eu apresento o primeiro lutador do Corner Azul, lutador com 11 vitórias, 8 derrotas, 37 anos, 1,95m de altura, pesou 139 quilos, 500 gramas, representando a equipe Nova União da cidade de Patos de Minas, Minas Gerais, Douglas Humberto Douglas Big Monster. And there we have Plinio Cruz in the red corner. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. The future MMA Decagon is about to shake. Two very, very heavy super, weight, super heavyweight fighters putting it on the line tonight, looking to throw some heavy hands. And somebody is going to leave with the canvas. Yeah, we had uh, all the fights uh, tonight ended. Uh you know, we had finishes in our fights, and now I really expect, expect that this is not the first, the first one to go to the distance. Big Monster taking the center of the cage, walking forward, trying to keep his footwork. Plinio Cruz already throw a very good overhand right, and another good overhand right. Plinio Cruz trying to surprise, as he is a well-known BJJ artist, looking for that knockout. Big Monster still looking very calm. A good overhand. We have some very heavy hands being thrown right now, ladies and gentlemen. Good body shot by Plinio Cruz. Nice inside leg kick. Like we said before, Big Monster is a big fan of those inside leg kicks, and Plinio Cruz can't be taking those the entire fight. Good body shot by Plinio Cruz. Big Monster looks like he didn't feel that. Another outside leg kick. Still taking the center of the cage. Let's see how long Plinio Cruz can move like that as he circles around the Decagon. Well, uh, both fighters showing a lot of respect for each other. You know, they know that the other guy, uh, they have dynamite in those hands. So it's also, uh, they're also like respecting each other too because you know, you don't want to end up sent up in the canvas. Exactly, nice. High kick by Plinio Cruz, surprise Douglas Big Monster. And that's right, Gabriel. Being heavy-handed fighters, anything can happen, and all you need is a hand to connect in the right spot for you to go to the canvas. Plinio Cruz trying to stay busy as Douglas Big Monster with another very strong leg kick. Plinio Cruz staying busy, trying to hit that body shot along with that head shot. But Douglas Big Monster just doesn't stop walking forward, which is very characteristic of his fight game. He keeps walking forward, but he can't keep taking that punishment because there's a heavy man in front of him trying to knock him out. And Plinio pretty confident so far, you know. He's calm, moving, throwing the punches at the right time. Nice outside leg kick by Douglas Big Monster. Halfway into the first round. Let's see how much more of these heavyweights can take. We have big boys throwing hands tonight, ladies and gentlemen. More than 525 pounds inside the future MMA Decagon. Let's see who connects first. Let's see who takes their opponent to knock out first. Is it going to happen? We're definitely hoping for it. Big Monster just doesn't want to stop walking forward. Not very effective. As we can see, a very busy Plinio Cruz walking back. But throw good overhand left by Plinio Cruz. Once again, touching Big Monster. Plinio Cruz looking very good throwing those hands. Nice outside leg kick. Big Monster still walking forward, but he can't be taking that kind of damage. Uh, Plinio, you know, he, it's kind of that he knows when uh, Douglas is throwing the Good uppercut. The shots. 
Pina Cruz showing a lot of skills with those hands, using body shots, uppercuts, overhand rights, most of them touching Big Monster. We'll just have to see how long Pliniu can hit and how much more Douglas can take. Powerful right head kick by Big Monster. Pliniu Cruz trying to connect that right. Good body shot by Pliniu. Pliniu Cruz looks like he's making and aiming that waistline of Big Monster. Let's see how effective that's going to take and be along the fight. Another body shot bringing it to a head shot. Nice combination by Plinio Cruz. As we can see, Big Monster just doesn't stop walking forward, which is impressive because Plinio is definitely throwing some heavy hands. Good faint kick to the face by Big Monster. Plinio Cruz still trying to keep busy, keeping those combinations. 40 seconds to the end of round one. kind of surprising to see such big guys throwing high kicks like that. Exactly. Pino Cruz definitely showing what he came for, that he's not just a super heavyweight, that he, he can actually move like a heavyweight. And look at that. Good overhand right. Big Monster doesn't look so effective. Pino Cruz with his back on the cage, still being effective with those counter strikes. Good overhand left. We have a 10 second bell. And we have the end of round one here in our first super heavyweight fight in future MMA history. Gabriel, what do you think of this first round and who do you give it to? Uh, I'm gonna give this one for Plinio. He was pretty calm and he knew exactly the moments that he, when he should like throw in his, uh, his punches, kicks and everything. And everything he, you know, uh, he has the control of the fight right now. So uh, I'll give this first round for him. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Gabriel Carvalho giving this first round 10-9 to Plinio Cruz as we have these big heavyweights talking to their corners, trying to get a little bit of that gas back into their gas tanks. Very impressive first round as we have two super heavyweights moving around like that inside the Decagon. Plinio Cruz definitely showing a lot of technique, good footwork, and as I said in the beginning, Big Monster showing himself very slow on his feet, walking forward, but he can definitely take some damage, as he did in the first round. But remembering and reminding that these are two heavyweights, so we can't expect them to keep throwing hands and that somebody isn't going to fall if it connects. Let's see what second round has to offer us here at Future MMA 6, straight and live from Sao Paulo. I am Max Suarez, and following me today is Gabriel Carvalho. The future MMA encyclopedia knows just everything about Brazilian MMA and international MMA. And here we have the beginning of round two. First super heavyweight fight in future MMA history, and you see it tonight at Future MMA 6. It's a pleasure to be with you guys, and very happy to see everybody watching and everybody talking so good about future MMA. Big Monster coming back to the second round, a little bit more active. Plinio Cruz still keeping light on his feet, looking for that counterattack with that overhand left. Big Monster seems just like he likes to take punches in the face. I mean, that's all I can say. Plinio Cruz is moving in and out. You know, maybe a reflex of training with Alex Poitain Pereira, the glory champion. And, you know, having training partners like that, that, that can only make her game better and faster and bigger. And that's what Plinio Cruz is showing us tonight. Very fancy foot movement, very good hand movement for a super heavyweight. As Douglas Big Monster is basically what heavyweights are. Slow and not moving too much and taking punches. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty interesting to see how both fighters are like, uh, they're struggling to, to find like a clean shot, you know, because that's what, that's what I said about the respect. Both guys respect each other, so it's, uh, so when you still have that respect, it's kind of tough to see like a clean shot to the face and because they know that they have a, a, a big risk of uh, just waking up with the doctor <laughs> and his lantern to your eye. Exactly. Now, Plinio Cruz being very effective with those feints using head-body combinations and we can see Big Monster 
definitely took that kick to the cup like a man. And we are back at our second round of our super heavyweight fight here at Future MMA. Plinia Cruz still keeping that distance, controlling, moving in and out. Two minutes into our round two. Let's see how much more these freight trains can take. Nice head movement by Plinio Cruz. Big monster. Very good straight right landing to Plinio Cruz's head. Looks like the, the pace slowed a little bit in the, in the second round, Gabriel. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, the, these guys are heavyweights, so they don't have enough, uh, enough energy in their, the, their gas tank. So it's, it's kind of natural to see both of them slowing down in the following minutes. Exactly. It's normal, but it's definitely what we didn't want to see. But Plinio Cruz is trying to keep active. He's moving in and out very good. He's keeping good, good leg combinations now by, by Plinio. And Big Monster trying to be a little bit more effective with those leg kicks. And Plinio's still circling, trying not to keep his back on the cage because that's definitely dangerous against a big man like Big Monster being very effective once again with those feints, shooting to the body and the head. Big Monster trying to throw one shot at a time. I don't know how effective that will be against a, a very busy moving Plinio Cruz. Another high kick thrown in the air. Plinio Cruz, good foot movement, showing some good boxing. Nice body shot by Plinio. Plinio Cruz looks like a heavyweight on a mission, and it looks like Big Monster felt that overhand left. Plinio, good left kick by Plinio. He has to capitalize on that. Big Monster looking a little bit slow. Good overhand left, good overhand right. Plinio Cruz trying to take him to the canvas. Trying to stay busy, he has to put the pressure on, but Big Monster just doesn't give up. I mean, this guy is a freight train, taking punches to the face. Pino Cruz looking a little bit gassed out as he has been busy this entire round and we're heading to the last minute of round two. Can Pino Cruz take Big Monster to the canvas? Good overhand right counter. Big Monster still keeping mo forward movement step by step. Pino Cruz trying to keep hand, good overhand left. Big Monster looking for the finish, trying to stay heavy, putting Pino Cruz on the cage, trying to hit him to the ground. And it looks like we have a cut under Plinio Cruz's eye. We'll see how much that's gonna affect him in the final 35 seconds of round two. Well, that's what I've said about the clean shot. Once you get one, it just like uh, open uh, a lot of opportunities. And that's what happened when Plinio was able to connect that one. We saw how the fight keep, uh, stay like more, more entertaining after that. Very good bob and weave movement by Pino Cruz, trying to keep a little bit more technical. We have the 10 second announcement here in round two. Pino Cruz still trying to stay active. Another leg kick in the air by Big Monster. And we have the end of round two. Gabriel Carvalho, who do you give this second round to and what did you think of it? Well, I think I'll give this, uh, uh, this second round also to Pino. You know, I think the fight was pretty close. But once Plinio had like his, his clean shot, I think he was able to, to take the fight back to his control again. So yeah, uh, I think it's a 2018 for, for Plinio. And uh, I think this third round, it's all or nothing for Douglas. Because, because if the judges, they are they're seeing the, the, the fight the same way as I do, uh, he, he only wins it with a knockout. Exactly, and there you heard the opinion of the future MMA encyclopedia, Gabriel Carvalho. You know, it's very important to take the time to listen to your corners in this one minute interval. And we have in Plinio Cruz's inter, uh, corner, nothing but Alex Poitain Pereira and Daniel Gracie. I mean, that's a very heavy corner to have. And if you listen to them, they'll definitely have the right strategy to take you to the win. The Decagon being dried and making sure that everything is ready to make our next round underway. How much more can these super heavyweights take? I mean, it's normal for these heavy heavyweights and super heavyweights to gas out in the first round. 
the, the fight started at a pretty good pace in the first round, slowed a little bit in the second, and we'll see how this third round will go. If they have it, enough big gas tank to take it to the distance, if they have enough gas tank and power in their shots to finish this fight before the bell rings. And we are underway our third round of the first super heavyweight fight in future MMA history. Plenu Cruz starting busy with that double right jab. Big Monster looks a little bit more focused, trying to move forward a little bit faster. Plenu Cruz still with that counter. Good, good left, right, one, twos by Big Monster. Let's see how Plenu Cruz will take that. Big Monster trying to close the distance, throwing some power shots. He definitely knows that he didn't take first and second rounds. Do you think that's his mission now in the third round, Gabriel? Yeah, yeah, I think Douglas is doing exactly what I, what I said uh, after the second round. Like, he, he, he needs to get a finish right here, and uh, you only get a finish if you take risks. So that's why he's trying to, to pick up the pace. And Good uh, knee by Big Monster. You know, I'm very impressed how these super heavyweights are, are still moving like that in this third round. We, we, we were thinking that past the first round they were going to drastically slow down, but they'll still, they're still trying to put on a show for us, which is very amazing. Plenio Cruz definitely not putting the pace he was putting in the first and second round, slowed down a little bit. Douglas Big Monster trying to capitalize on that and bring the win home, trying to throw more precise power shots because in the first round he definitely threw a lot of shots in the air and that just gets you tired, you know? For a super heavyweight to be throwing power shots in the air, that's not a good strategy, that's not good. Both fighters in the center of the future MMA Decagon looking very tired. And that's what we didn't want to happen, Gabriel, you know? Both big freight trains standing in the middle of the Decagon and just tiring out. Yeah, yeah, and Douglas seems uh, pretty gassed right now because, you know, uh, he's losing the fight and now, now he threw like a nice leg kick there. But you know, uh, he, he's losing the fight, so he needs to, to get a finish. And, nice oh. leg kick by Big Monster. Plino Cruz hits the ground, but he's back up. He trampoling back to the top. Looked like he got shook. Can Big Monster finish this fight? How much more can Plino? Another very effective leg kick. Big Monster throwing those heavy hands. Can he finish this fight? Plino Cruz looks shocked. Doesn't want to take another one of those leg kicks. He has definitely to fight back. Another powerful front leg kick by Big Monster. Looks like he found the path to that gold. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely best moment for Douglas in the fight. Plinio is, is really hurt with that leg. And, you know, he Douglas is gonna just try to capitalize on that. Exactly, we had a first and second round for Plinio Cruz. And if Doug, Douglas Big Monster doesn't knock Plinio Cruz out, he's still going to lose this fight at the eyes of Gabriel Carvalho. And it looks like Plinio Cruz is fleeing a little bit from the fight. Douglas Bonster wants to keep busy to make sure he's... Beautiful leg kick to the body. Another powerful leg kick that was countered by Plinio. Big Monster is a huge freight train on a mission throwing powerful leg kicks. How much more can Plinio Cruz take? I mean, those leg kicks are just snapping. I can hear it from here. I mean, if you have a super heavyweight kicking your leg, that's definitely, definitely got to hurt. How much more can he take? I mean, Pino Cruz is not walking tomorrow. That's for sure. Big Monster, still a big man on a mission as we go to the final minute of our third round. He has to knock out in order to win. Pino Cruz is just like he's walking in the park. You know, he's just, he's just walking around the deck. A beautiful knockout! Beautiful overhand right by Douglas Big Monster. And he knocks out Plinio Cruz. What a devastating hand job by Douglas Big Monster. Plinio Cruz is not in this world. This guy doesn't even know where he is right now. Wow. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a super heavyweight fight. Heavy hands from the first to the third round. Very impressive. Well, that's why uh, MMA... Such a enthusiastic sport. You know, look at that. You know, Douglas was losing the fight 
And then all of a sudden, let's look at that. Plinio was like almost giving up. And then beautiful it was right beautiful overhand. Uppercut. I mean, that hit the butt. Oh, yeah, you know, it was Plinio an uppercut. was just walking around like he was in the park. Yeah, he was like, uh, please end this fight soon. And man, you can't like, uh, you can't have this kind of stance during a fight. So a beautiful uppercut for for Douglas Umberto and a nice win for him and a nice comeback. Exactly, very pre precise as he connected that beautiful uppercut with his right hand right to Plinio Cruz's button. He was totally out. I, I saw Plinio Cruz's corner trying to start, you know, as, as, as they were not agreeing with that stoppage, but, you know, Plinio Cruz was definitely not, not in conditions to come back. That was a very heavy hand that connected by Big Monster. And I believe that that was the right stoppage by the judge, as we also saw Plinio Cruz not even being able to stand up after that impressive knockout. Very good to see super heavyweights bringing it to you tonight. Very amazing fights. And I'm sure that you guys definitely felt your sofa shake when you saw Plinio Cruz hitting the future MMA canvas. That's just impressive. Yeah, that's one of the best knockouts of night. Interrompeu o combate aos 3 minutos 57 segundos do terceiro round, declarando o vencedor por nocaute técnico Douglas Humberto Big Monster. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the first ever super heavyweight to win a fight in future MMA history. A very amazing fight. What can you say about that, Gabriel? Well, uh, big monster, the first ever super heavyweight fight and by knockout. You lost first and second rounds in the eyes of the judges, but you came back stronger. And that was very good. I, I think I did a good job. I've, I've got many fights under my belt, but he's a very good guy. I don't care who, who's my opponent. I just want to fight. I just want to throw bombs. You know, I just want to brawl. I want to always train better, bring back a better show. I trained a lot, but I know I could train more. I want to thank everybody that here that's watching. I want to thank the organization. It was very good to participate in this event. So I represented my country in front of the entire world, and I'm going to go back to the gym and train harder. You know, I spent a lot of time training. I knew my opponent was very hard, but I wanted to come in, in here and, and put a show on for future FC fans and for the entire world. I want to send a huge hug and a shout out to my hometown, my teammates, my family, everybody that supported me. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, Big Monster, the winner of the first ever Super Heavy.